Hi, I'm here today with Dr. Deepak Chopra. Deepak, thank you so much for joining Thanks us. For it you. is an honor thank you. to have you chatting to me today. I consider you one of my greatest friends. Thank you. And I'd love to talk a little bit about how you got started. I know you're obviously a doctor, and I want to know how you started with meditation. Explain that to people if they don't know. Well, as you mentioned, I'm an internal medicine specialist. I'm an internist. Mm -hmm. And then I subspecialized in neuroendocrinology, mm -hmm. which is the study of brain chemicals. So I saw the connection between our emotional brain and what was happening in our mind and what was happening in our body. We were looking at these molecules. They're called the molecules of emotion. Mm -hmm. People have heard about them. Opiates, serotonin, dopamine, oxytocin. So I was seeing a connection between what happens in the mind and what happens in the body. Also as a physician, I was puzzled by the fact that you could have two patients who had the same illness, they saw the same doctor, they got the same treatment, but they could have completely different outcomes. So mm -hmm. one person could recover, the other person could die. So what was going on? So that's when I started to look at meditation. And basically, the first thing we discovered was that when your mind quietens down, and actually sometimes when it transcends, goes to a place of pure consciousness, then your body also goes into that place. And then self-repair mechanisms kick in. So in uh, biology, we call this homeostasis, which mm -hmm. means everything starts to regulate itself. What's really happening is consciousness is regulating your biology. And your biology is different in different states of consciousness. So that's how I got started. But then, you know, over the years now, I've been doing this for almost 40 years. Mm -hmm. And we've seen a lot of uh, research and data come through since then. Well, I know you're doing a big study with Harvard. And tell us a little bit about that study and the connection between the brain and what they're actually showing meditation, the effects that meditation is having well, on the brain. The study is being done by the Chopra Foundation, right. which is our nonprofit. Mm -hmm. But we have scientists uh, from Harvard, like Rudy Tanzi, right. who's the director of genetics and he's also a world expert on Alzheimer's disease. We've got Eric Schott at Mount Sinai, mm -hmm. who looks at gene expression. We've got uh, Elizabeth Blackburn at UCSF. She's a Nobel Prize winner. Wow. And we have scientists from UCSF and Scripps. So what we're looking at is not only the brain. By the way, the brain activity changes within seconds of meditation. Of meditation. Yes. So we're looking at the brain through digital technology. You can, you can pick up the brain waves through a digital monitor on your iPhone or, mm -hmm. your, wow. or your Android. And it can send the information directly to scripts and get an instant readout. But we're also looking at heart rate variability or ECG. We're looking at gene expression. We have 23,000 genes. Uh, we're looking at an enzyme called telomerase, which is responsible for how we age. So cell aging. And we're looking at inflammation and self-healing. So we're looking at about 30,000 different things all at the same time. And so far what we've discovered is that the enzyme that controls how we age goes up within four days by about 30%, which is totally crazy. The genes that are responsible for self-healing get upregulated, and the genes that are responsible for, say, inflammation, many types of cancer, Alzheimer's, diabetes, heart disease, bronchial asthma, and uh, arthritis, they get down-regulated, which basically means the good genes go up and the bad genes go down. Which is amazing. Which is amazing. Yeah. And depending on what kind of meditation you're doing, you can actually consciously um, trigger the rewiring of your brain. You know, oh. so you can create the rewiring of your cortical brain or your emotional brain, and on and on. I mean, this is a new era. What we're basically saying is, you're not your brain, you're not your body, you're not even your mind, you're not your genes. You are the spirit or the awareness wow. or the consciousness that controls all this. 